Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, a little bit of Civ 3 complete modded. Um, we're going to be heading towards seafaring this time. Uh, we just tried to get the Great Library before, but uh, somebody beat us to it. Well, not much we can do about that. But uh, last episode, I believe, we were solidifying our borders. And uh, we're worrying a little bit about Spain down here, but I'm not that worried about them. I mean, they own a fair bit of territory over here, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Uh, hopefully they'll enter into a war with Korea and fight it out between themselves, leaving me out of things, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so we're going to continue on towards seafaring today, and uh, yeah, let's just see how that goes. Okay, so between turns is actually getting fairly long. I'm going to be chopping all that out, but uh, just so you know, that was about 20 seconds. Um, okay, so we're looking at solidifying our borders. Um, and also we're approaching the medieval era, so we want to get some units that we're going to be able to upgrade to defend ourselves with. So I think probably what we're going to do, um, this guy's still working on this, we're going to build a few more spearmen, throw them in our borders so we can upgrade them uh, pretty much right away. This guy's going to keep building warriors, because we're going to uh, bring them back to the barracks back here and turn them all into uh, um, swordsmen. I wonder if I should build a barracks here first, though. Celtic City. Nice. Hanging Gardens gone. That's just great. Okay, let's fortify these guys in here. And I think you were moving... Where were you going? It's been a while since I played, so it's having a hard time remembering where everyone was going here. I'm going to move this way. I'm just going to fortify you in there. And you, I think, um, yeah, let's move this way. You can fortify yourself in there. So we have some defenders. Uh, you're going to go up in here. We need a road to the elephants. And we need our irrigation over here now. So let's get this guy working on getting our irrigation spread. Now this guy, um... Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to be putting a city out here soon. So let's move this guy out here. And let's continue moving the irrigation back. And this will be a road. Uh, we're going to move down here and make a road, I think. And our swordsmen, we were moving to the front line, I believe. So I'm trying to remember now what we were doing here. There's swordsmen over here. Um, not a lot of guys over here. So let's bring our swordsman down here. And we're going to make this a mine. Now, I think we've got room in here to put another city. So I'm going to go and hmm, let's chop that. And I'm going to build a road out towards Spain, I think. And we're going to go this way. This can be a road. And we're moving these guys to the front lines. Now you notice uh, the Babylonians are crossing my territory. Totally fine with that. They're going down to uh, settle down over here which tells me this is probably the only place where there's places to settle left. Um, right, we can't go in there because it's obviously we can't get through here, but let's go around this way. Alright, now this guy is way up north. And let's do this. Alright. Yep, so again, about another 20 seconds. Um, gonna put a spearman here for now. Once again, we're not playing to dominate in the ancient era or the medieval era. We're playing to keep our borders the same up until we get to the industrial era, at which point World War II is gonna start. And when I say World War, I mean World War. We're gonna declare on everybody, it's gonna be chaos. 
So let's hope we survive until then. Um, we put the road there. Let's keep going up here. Road. Uh, let's put a mine on here. Road. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to fortify this spear or the swordsman here. I'm going to send you up here. And this will be mine. You're just going to sit there for now, I think. Bringing these guys back. You can stay there. going to chop this. Road. Um, I think we were planning on settling here. We could go one more. Although it's better if we stay where we are, but I think I'm going to go one more. I think I'm going to go here. I know I'll probably regret it later, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, sure, what do you got to say? Alliance versus the Russians. Nah, we can't really do that right now. As much as I'd like to. America declared war on the Inca. Well, probably good we didn't get involved up there. Okay, so let's get a barracks in here now. Spearman's up. Another spearman. I wonder if I should start making a few galleys. Mm, I can put a harbor down. I'm gonna need a temple soon. So let's go for temple next. Another cat here. Let's drop another spearman which so we can move some of the warriors out of our back cities. Bond has produced a spearman. Um, let's go with a library over here now. Spear. Elephant barracks. Nice. Finally. Head over with the catapult. Elephant barracks. Nice. We'll finish those on the same turn and then we'll get two elephants. each time we spawn an elephant. Okay, so this catapult we're going to send up here. This guy's going to fortify. You can fortify. And I think I'll send you this way. And you can cross here. So let's mine this. Let's irrigate the elephant. Which I can't do just yet. Um, Where are you going to be best served, I think, going here? Okay, go like that. You can go there, fortify, build. <coughs> nice, so that's going to be our last city on our border. Um, first thing we want to do, I think, is we want to build walls here. Got a feeling that's going to be the most important thing. And you can stay there, and you can stay there. So now we've got this guy, which can go here. Irrigate this. And let's move you up this way, because you don't have any veteran spearmen up there. Move you along. Road. I want to see how that plays out over there. There's their capital. All right, 17 turns. Let's um hmm. Let's see if we can find anybody that's got uh tech advancing along polytheism, which wouldn't be too bad to have. They've got polytheism as well. Actually, he's doing pretty good on my border now. Aztecs They've got polytheism. I'm not going to give you elef elephant riding unless you've got something more than polytheism. Yeah, see, everyone's pretty good here. Rome, they still hurting? Yeah, they're still hurting. But they were building in jungles, so. Uh, Inca. Yeah, polytheism. Spain. Byzantines. 
Yeah, no one's got uh, currency or um, construction yet. See, they're not doing very well either. France. Oh yeah, they're on the island, that's right. That's on the island. Mongols were on an island. So they both have nothing. I'm not really worried right now. Okay. So Korea and America are now against the Inca, which means that if we look at the map down here in the bottom corner, that there has this has to be have some kind of connection over here. Um, either that or a very narrow waterway where Korea and at least America were able to see each other. Spearmen. Right, so we're going to go sword again. have to start watching our cash here soon. Swordsmen. We're going to go swordsmen again. Um, yeah. Horse. Going to grab another horseman. Elephant barracks completed. So he's got already got a normal barracks. So let's do some swordsmen, I think, up here. Catapult. Um, let's put a barracks in now. Library on the border. We've got our walls already, so barracks is going in next. Library, we've got our walls already, so barracks next. Walls. Um, Barrack takes a little while. Yeah, we gotta do it. Elephant barracks, we're gonna go for regular barracks here now. Hopefully get that completed before the first elephant comes out. We wanna get those veteran elephants. Alright, catapult. We're gonna move you over to there. Because you're gonna go up in that far city. Yeah, see here's our first Uzuki and catapult. Zero attack, um, five um, ranged attack, one defense, and they've got three hit points at veteran status. So, I mean, the enemy has to kill them to get these guys. So we're just going to fortify this guy hey. here. Um, and now you, where are we here? Right. You are going to go up this way. And you, I'm going to stack with the swordsman. And you're going to go down here. Finish building a road there, build a road here, and uh, you can go back here, help chop out that temple. You can chop, and maybe we can get this barracks quickly here. Bring the irrigation back, fortify. Let's bring all you guys in here, and you in there. This is going to be irrigation, this is going to be a road, fortify. Uh, irrigate. Uh, I can't irrigate that yet, right? Road there. We're going to fortify this guy here. We want to start having at least three guys per city. Um, three spearmen per city or three whatever. So that when we get monarchy we'll have um, a good amount of uh, um, civil unrest pacification. Okay, so that does look like, like, I mean, this is, pr I wonder if this is a huge inland lake. Possibility. We'll see what happens. Alright, uh, seafaring 16. Okay, the Aztecs want to talk to us now. Let's see what they want. Probably just to help us to declare war on somebody. Oh, Polytheus for literature. Nah, I don't think so. Aztecs declare war on the Inca. Well, it looks like the Inca are going to be gone. They don't have any advanced text that they can trade off to get some peace, so I think they're going to be in trouble. Let's put one spearman in here and then maybe we'll start doing uh, some galleys. And let's put a... Let's do another catapult. Artillery is definitely going to be the key to our survival. 
Ah, Byzantines. Embassy, eh? Nice. Okay, let's put you up at the front. This guy can go here for now. Catapults up there. Like I said, we're going to start putting three people in each... three defenders at least in each city. Let's put a road towards them. So that's our stone. Let's put another road... Actually, let's put it there. Workers are definitely the most important unit in the game. Uh, let's go here. Let's just upgrade you. 20 gold, sure. And put a mine here. Road. And let's get these horses hooked up. So you got the irrigation done there. Let's start working on a second way into that city. In case it gets cut off. <laughs> Alright, so not much over there. Hmm. Okay. So let's... Um, Have a look at our science here for a second. 15, can we reduce it? Yep. Nope. Alright, 24 gold per turn, not bad. 15 turns to go. Well, I thought those turns would be taking longer. Still about 20 seconds. There's a big war going on, but... You know, I thought for sure they'd be taking longer, but nope. Okay, let's put a barracks in here now. We want to have barracks in the front so our troops heal faster if we're in combat. So a spearman, let's get another spearman going there. Got one there, let's get another one. Barracks, okay, so let's put a spearman in here so we can get that warrior out of there. He's got another warrior. Um, I think I am going to go right to barracks here. I mean, I guess I could just keep making warriors, but... How many, like, regular warriors do I really want, though? Um to turn to swordsmen. I'd rather have it veterans, so let's take the time and do that. Okay, catapult. We're going to bring this guy to the front. And this guy can fortify. Yeah. Road, road, irrigation. And you are going to build a mine here. Yeah. Got to get some production going. Now we can irrigate here. Road, road, road. Mine. We can't really irrigate anything up in here to help us out. So let's... I'm going to chop this tree here at the front. Now you... What do we got in here? Let's take the archer out of here. I'm going to move him all the way over here. And you can fortify. You can fortify. Fortify. Irrigate. Yeah, see, that's another one of those things that shows up. Lost civilization, extra gold. For jungle people. Or people who spawn in the jungle, that is. Um, so what else do we got down here? Let's see... We put a spearman here so we can take our archer out, move him to the front line. Let's put him over here. Did I have an archer here? I did. So let's take him out. Let's move him up here. So this is what I mean about having three defenders. Um, we're going to start putting spearmen on all these back cities where we don't need the archers and start moving those guys forward. Uh, and then at some point we'll have three spearmen in each city. I know it's excessive, but once we get monarchy, it's going to help uh, quell unrest. So yeah, see, these guys are like... I wonder when these guys are going to come into conflict. Alright, 14 turns. Ok, 
Okay, that was about 25 seconds between turns. Must be a lot of fighting going on. So swordsman here, let's put a spear in. Horseman, let's go with another horseman. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, thinking I'm going to drop a harbor in while it's relatively... Mm, yeah, harbor while it's relatively peaceful. Spearman, let's go with another spearman. Catapult on the island. Uh, this guy really can't do too much. I mean, we could go for a harbor, but it takes forever. So, what if we do... I mean, we're going to have to defend this island, right? I can ship guys over there, though, but we don't really have a ship. Let's just do it. Let's go... Hmm. Yeah. I want the culture. So let's go for culture. Alright, fortify the catapult here. Fortify. Fortify. I think what I'm going to do, also this turn, uh, let's chop this first. What I want to do, once I get all these workers going and doing stuff here, irrigation. Now I think I've only got one spearman here, correct? Do, but I think what I want to do is actually do this. Then I'm going to take my archer and I'm going to put him up over here. So I think what I want to do is move that stack of guys that I've got um, I shouldn't have put irrigation there. Move that stack of guys that I've got near the Spanish border. Um, and move them back. So let's get on the road. Because we've got a stack of swordsmen here, which are relatively in a good position. So I want to move these guys back. Let's wake everybody here. And we're going to move them all over here. Okay, 13 turns for Steve firing. Okay, spearmen. So let's do, could go temple, but I think we're fine for now. Um, let's start building a few galleys here. Swords, um, let's get one spearman in here. We got our temple up, let's get another spearman here. And this guy needs a spear for now. Crocodile warrior barracks. And let's drop in some walls. But I want to have a look at the city here. Yeah, let's take this out over over here. Ten turns for walls. Alright, we're going to fortify our archer in there. This guy is going to stay here. Mind this. And road. So I don't think I've got a spearman here. I think I, or a archer, I mean. Yeah, they're all spearmen. So we're going to leave that there just in case people decide to land troops on our border. Or on our ocean border, that is. That's going to be a mine. And let's build a road towards them. Let's irrigate this. All right, 12 turns. Okay, so Byzantines want a rite of passage. Let's see if we can get one. Do I have a, who do I have up there? Do I have a, I think I got a warrior parked up there somewhere. I have to go and find him. Spearman. Right. Okay, so let's do... I'm going to take a settler through here. We're going to need to settle some of these areas back here. Uh, Munich has produced barracks. Let's go with the spearman. Uh, let's zoom. Yeah, we're going to start running into problems here. So let's take this off of here. Go with some goad. 
and let's go yeah we got the temple going so that's fine okay catapult uh, let's go another spear Stuttgart another spearman back here library cool all right so we need a spear in there and then we're gonna start building swordsmen continuously I think Celtic City have built the Great Wall so it's two they've got so they thank good they're on, thank goodness they're on the other continent but I think the other continent is gonna be way ahead of us yeah So we're going to bring you this way and let's take you here. So now take you. What do we got? Archer and Spearman. He's making a barracks though. Two warriors. So let's take this guy over here and let's start we really have to start paying attention now to what needs to be done here. I've just kind of been building, building willy-nilly here, trying to max out the amount of hammers we're getting here, or shields that is. So let's put you there. Let's... I don't want to chop this yet. Um, Let's go here and make a road. Let's mine this. Let's check out what's going on with this city. So yeah, let's mine this. And that we're not going to chop. We're going to wait till the city gets in there. But I think let's start taking you back over here. Nice. Okay, you seem to be okay. So let's go one, two, three. Let's irrigate this. And let's upgrade you. 20 gold ain't nothing. That's going to be a road. Okay, we're going to go looking for that warrior up there. Let's fortify all these guys. So we got 25 guys here now. It's not bad. What do we got here? 16, so it's 41, you know, plus a bunch in these cities. So we're doing okay. Not great, but okay. Don't One, one turn to barracks. So I'm going to do this. And then, yeah. And we'll upgrade all these guys in one shot. Okay, so let's go see if we can find... I think I left... There we go. There's a warrior. So we got Rite of Passage now, so let's just kind of go through this guy's territory. Okay, Salisbury has built Spearmen. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, sword. Barracks up front here. Great. Um, going to go with Spearmen. Get a few strong defenders in there. We got a spear here. Got another one coming. So let's go to swordsman because we've got a barracks there. We built finally built our barracks over here. Let's get a crocodile warrior barracks going. Walls up front. I'm not going to go with library here just yet. I don't think. Uh, actually, yes, I am. I mean, we're not going to get much out of this library once we expand our cities and everything. It's going to have a few tiles in here that it's going to be working, but not very many. Alright, so let's move this guy over here. Nice. So crocodile warrior, warriors have got uh, two attack with one missile defense, two defense and one movement, but they can attack from water tiles, which is awesome. So we're going to put you over here. And let's put the catapult up in here. Let's fortify him. I'm going to put a road there. And we're going to... Hmm. we got room for a city up here somewhere. So let's irrigate this. Someone needs to make a city. So how many spear demons do we have here? This will be the third one if we keep them here. So let's do that. And let's irrigate. And road. 
fortify this guy. We're going to mine this. So I think we're going to end the episode at this turn. Um, because I'm finding that they're starting to get really long now. Um, no shit, Sherlock, right? Uh, so let's put a road here. So we're going to end it at this turn and then do the second half of seafaring sea in the next episode. Um, let's do shift U here for upgrade all six warriors. Say so, yep. Okay. Um, now let's move you. I'm going to move you here. Here, I think, because I think I want to chop that to put a temple in. Okay, so I'm going to go there. So yeah, so we will um, end this episode here once we get these guys in place. And when we come back next time, we'll work towards finishing up surfing. Actually, before we finish, let's go uh, diplomacy and see if anybody's gotten any text that we could trade for. Okay, construction's up now. Okay, cool. So let's see what everybody's got. Babylon? No, not yet. Aztecs. I've got construction now. Korea. Construction and philosophy. Okay. Rome, I think it's still probably lagging behind. They are. Inca is probably having problems. They are. I can get some cash out of those guys, I think, for trading elephant riding. Spain, let's see how they're doing. Okay, they've got philosophy as well. So I'm going to trade other people for it, not them. They're still polite with us. Not that it matters. Okay, polytheism. Russia is still probably behind. Yep. Um, let's trade the math, though. I don't want the gold per turn, but I'll take your cash. Um, the reason why I don't want the gold per turn is I don't want them to break a deal with me. Not yet, anyway. Okay, we're going to leave those guys out. So let's go back up. America has got construction, which they probably bought from somebody. Hmm. Hmm. Inca is in dire straits. If they don't have construction yet. Um, Byzantines, I believe, did, didn't they? No. There's only a couple of people. Babylon? No. Was it the Americans and who? Aztecs? Right. Um... Oh, they're not going to accept any proposal, eh? Polytheism in 250. No, because then you're going to shop it around. Korea has got construction as well. Um... Okay, no wait, so I can get it off of, I was just not realizing what I was doing, I think. So the Aztecs, you can go for construction, elephant riding, and let's say 500. Okay, what about if we go 350? Getting close, eh? What about 400? Take it and go. There we go. Construction. And now we should trade off. Let's go with Korea. They're close to us. Let's get them to like us a little bit. Offer them elephant riding, see what they want to give us. Philosophy in 70. What about polytheism? Will you give us that? No, they won't, eh? Yeah, we'll take that. What about the United States of America? Literature and philosophy. Polytheism. No, eh? What about 250? Close, eh? 300? Oops. Close, eh? 350? There we go. 
Oh, he's still annoyed with us. That's okay, I'm annoyed with you too. So now we should be ahead of everybody. We got philosophy that we can kind of ship around here. Korea's got it, Rome doesn't. Inca, I don't think, had philosophy, did they? They've got monarchy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, what about a hundred extra gold? No, just monarchy. We got monarchy. We have got monarchy. So next episode, we are changing governments. It's going to cripple us for a little bit, but we are going to change governments to monarchy, um, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure we had three spearmen in every city so we can get that extra um, pacified citizen. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, when we come back, we're going to switch governments to monarchy, finish up seafaring, and hopefully get currency somewhere along the way. I think I'm going to have to check every turn or every two turns to see if somebody has got currency. Um, or code of laws and then if we can control seafaring we can get ourselves out of the ancient era before most people here and um, hopefully be able to choose feudalism um, and instantly switch all of our guys over to pikemen and medieval infantry to uh, make us a lot more threatening um, and hopefully people will decide to not attack us in the future I don't think I'm going to get any resistance from Babylon, but Spain is really the one I'm worried about. they got a lot of territory down here, a lot of cities. Um, and if they come into conflict with Korea, um, that's good. But if they decide that they want to attack me, uh, they may get Korea on their side or Babylon, and then I could be in trouble. But anyway, leave it for now, and uh, I'll sign off and see you next time.